Hello everybody, Nikadu12 here, and I'm gonna start off with uh, my new Let's Play. Let's play Donkey Kong Country for the SNES. Yes, this is the game I was promising you all. Uh, I was promising this since, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah. Good LP. Check it out. Very fun. Probably be like related to this. Anyway, so. Ah, uh, it's a nice day out in the jungle. Oh, let's check my banana horde. Oh my god, son of a bitch. They took all my bananas. Oh yeah, that's the story. King Karul took all of DK's bananas. And uh, we're gonna get him back. First, let's go to his cabin and pick up a balloon. Balloons give you lives, yes. And, um... Here's something that not many people know. Well, they probably do, but I just don't see them do. Alright, you see that steel barrel? Well, you're gonna have to pick that up and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Naughties. Naughties are like kind of goombush enemies. Really weak, really tiny. And those are critters. You might see them in Mario Strikers or some other games. And I think those things were called clumps or something like that. But yeah, um, this game was really fun. I liked it a lot. But I kind of like the second one a lot more. Like, out of all three, I like the second one the most. But yeah, um, this is not going to be a 100% run. I'm sorry if you wanted to see a 100% run. If you're like stuck at some place. But I'm sorry, but I just can't. I don't know where all the secrets are. So, yeah. Clumps. And this is your buddy. His key is called Rambi. You have four partners. I'll introduce them all when we get there. Rambi's kind of like... He can charge enemies. He can jump on them. Stuff like that. So, yeah. Ropey Rampage. Level 2. Well, it's the rain. And besides, you can switch to Diddy Kong, which was first introduced in this game. Donkey Kong was introduced in 1981. And yeah. And those are armies, armadillos, that are kind of strong, actually. And he just killed our Diddy, yeah. And those are tokens. Tokens will... Well, if you collect three of the same token, then you'll do a little mini game and you collect more lives. So yeah. Kind of cool, I guess. Kind of time-consuming, though. So I'll kind of, I'll kind of like skip ahead to that, so yeah. Anyways, now yeah, this LP will probably not take too long because of the 15 minute time limit, so yeah. Since I always make predictions of how long the LPs are, I'm going to say about 9, 10 parts, about 9 or 10. Probably less, if I'm like quick. Yeah, Do um, Donkey Kong is the more stronger dude, while Diddy's like the quick type. Not really strong as DK, but yeah. Alrighty. Although I, I, I like using Diddy a lot more because he's quick. So yeah, if you get the letters K O N and G, you'll get an extra life. Which is cool. And this is Cranky's Cabin. Some old fart that tells you the whole, the whole story, I guess. And he sometimes gives you some advice, so he's not that useless. So yeah, it's not really that important. I, I don't usually go to crank, Cranky's, so yeah. Alright, next place, Reptile Rumble. One of my favorite cave type of levels. It was very simple, but still. Alrighty. Sweet sauce. Pick a balloon there. Yeah, most of these bonus areas will give you some stuff. Basically, in this part, I'm just gonna give you guys like the whole thing the tips and help and everything, patrol story. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on telling you guys this. Probably in the next part, I'll be like, I can all normal be pace and stuff. I don't know. However, I normally act in my videos, at least. <clears throat> oh, look look how epic that is. How can you not enjoy Diddy Kong? There's, there are also some speedrunning tactics going on in these kind of levels. Oh, yeah. 
pick up Diddy again. Alright. And that was a fish token. I'm not going to say his name yet. I'm going to try my best to get through this first world really quickly. Alrighty. Coral Capers, the first water level. There's not many water levels in this game. There's about like three or four. So yeah. Thank God. I don't really like water all that much. But I like this music. I mean, it's so relaxing and soothing and stuff. So it's like, I'm like, calm down, shut up. Just relax to this music. And there's a Croctopus. Enemies that you cannot kill at all. I didn't go down here and pick up some bananas. I'm not going to get all of them though, because a waste of time. Bite size, the normal fish enemies. They're like, I would say like cheap cheeps from Super Mario Brothers. The normal fish type of enemies. And this is um, on guard, one of your strongest, strongest helper buddies. He's a swordfish which he can use his nose to kill everybody or mouth. I don't know what that thing is. But yeah, they kind of take him way too seriously with the whole swordfish thing. But yeah, that's the, that's the whole humor of this game. And you can kill loads of enemies. You can kill sharks, like this one for example. Just like that. You don't even have to charge them, it just goes by itself. Um, checkpoint barrels, yes. Take you back if you die. And oh my god, two of them, it's gonna cause a, um... What's that thing called? A time paradox? Yeah. Oh, I'm dumb. I can't finish a joke off without, like, hesitating. Oh my god. Shark. I forgot what all these names are called. These are called Chomps, I remember. And the other ones we just hit the first time were called Chomps Jr. It's funny, I know all these names because I this is like my 20th playthrough of this game. Probably probably even more because I've had this game on the Game Boy Advance for a long time. So, Oh, God. Actually, no, it's the end of the level. We don't need it. Cog. That's my name, Donkey Cog. And who is that purple-haired psycho shade-wearing dude? Funky's Flights. Well, this is Funky Kong. You might see him in Mario Sluggers. Whoa, dude, my name's Funky Kong. My bodacious jumble barrel will launch you to any point on the island. Most unfortunately, it can send you to the only place you've already been to. Yeah. Which is a complete and total bummer, let me tell you. Okay. So, yeah, Funky Kong. He's kind of cool, I guess. Not really, but whatever. Ba barrel Cannon Canyon. Now this place has a shortcut, but I'll show you where the shortcut is later. Right now I just want to show you the entire level is. Alright. Critters. Critters have many types of colors. Some have like different kinds of personality. Like one of them jumps higher, one of them just walks normally. Like this guy. Or some of them jump like really high, some of them jump while running. Different kinds of stuff. And then here, and there, and over there. Ah. Uh. Alrighty, yeah, the short the shortcut's like really helpful in this place. So, why wow, I almost died there. All right, get the O. All right, epic win. Whoa, I want that in case I die. Oh, you suck. Yeah, these these critters kind of remind me of Koopas. I mean, they're like normal henchmen, just like Koopas are. So yeah, I don't, know, I don't know why I compare all these enemies to like Super Mario Bros. enemies. Uh, those bees are called zingers, I think, and they're really annoying. The only way you can kill them is with a barrel or with one of your friends. I mean, and I died. I'ma skip ahead. Okay, anyways, back to here. I'm not even sure if I got back here. All these places look the same. But anyway, this game has a really amazing graphics for its time, at least. I, I find it, like, very appealing graphics. And whoa, Jesus. Alright. Whoa, what just happened to my computer? Oh, that's right. There's that thing that happened to me every single time I do a Let's Play.
Candy save points. Which, uh, the save barrel. Yeah. We only complete 8% of the game. But remember, I'm not going for 100% or 101%. Anyways, very naughty layer. Okay. This guy is very dumb. It's like a, fighting a giant Goomba, basically. Except you can't really, you can't do a cartwheel to this guy, so it's kind of weird. And victory for Diddy. Wootly, woot, woot. Thank God. And yes, we have covered the first world and the next part. We're going to do Monkey Mimes. See you all later.